how's it going? It's Backwoods. How y'all doing? So I thought I'd just come and holler at y'all for a minute. Man, I know it's, YouTube's kind of been dead. Um, as y'all can see, I'm here and getting in my little sports car. I gotta run down to the store and grab something first. Um, so I just kind of wanted to touch on some stuff that... Some of the stuff we've been seeing going on and stuff like that, man. Um... Got no really good place to put this daggum thing here in the car to where it'll where it'll stay. Um, man, you know when all this shit first started, this 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 COVID shit, when it all first started, you know, Trump wanted to lock down everything, you know, from 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 China and and all that. And all these Democrats was running around, oh, no, man, that's racism, racism, you know, which is the only word that they actually know in the vocabulary. Um, it seems to be uh, the only thing they can say. Um, everything is racist. Hell, math is racist. I mean, you know, shit. Um, but, you know what, I, I just wanted to... I just wanted to point these things out, you know, that, that they also had, um, you know, had run around there at first when Trump was talking about the warp speed, Operation Warp Speed, you know. Man, all them people were like, all them Democrats, hell no, he ain't taking no, no Trump vaccine. Man, Trump, there ain't no way I'd put that in my body. But then as soon as Trump wasn't in there, what is it being? Take the vaccine. Take the vaccine. Well, that's still Trump's vaccine, ain't it? I mean, I'm just saying. I don't. I don't know what changed there, but um. Anyway, you know, I, I've got some. I, I. I don't mind one bit to dabble in the conspiracy theories. rabbit holes, you know. And, uh, it's, it's, you know, one of the things that, that really gets me is that when you you know, sometimes when you talk about this stuff or you, you know, you type this kind of stuff in chat, you know, you get a lot of people that, you get a lot of people that say, you know, oh, it's a conspiracy theory, all oh, this, you know, all oh, this, I can't believe you believe that way, you know. Well, I'm not saying that I, I, I believe that way 100%. This is just stuff that I go through that I think about, you know. One of the worst things that you can do in this life is think that you've got one way figured out and you have no backup plan. You have no other thoughts and processes, you know. Um, and every day, and every day we learn, or you should at least be learning something new. You should be, you, you should, as um, prepping outside the box. Already good. Morning, good afternoon, good evening, forever stepping outside the box. It's Josh. I mean, if you think about that, what a great, what a great title. You know, what a great YouTube name. You know, think about that. You know, prepping outside the box. You know, um, it's it it goes with what I'm sitting here trying to say is is just like thinking outside of the box. You know, we. A lot of people tend to get set in their mind to think just one way. And I, I just really believe that's a mistake. I believe you should have your open mind to a lot of, your, your mind open to a lot of possibilities. You know, they're, they're you know, the, the, the one thing that we can uh, hopefully all agree on is that all the shit that we see in the news ain't even close to what really is going on. They're 
only going to tell us what they want us to know and about the other, and that's about 10%, and the other 90% is going to be all lies and bullshit, okay? To this day, still puzzles me that places like YouTube, Instagram, you know, all these places, Facebook, want to censor everything you say because they say it's misinformation and disinformation. Well, what's so sad about that is is the misinformation and disinformation that everybody is spreading nine times out of ten ends up becoming the truth. And then, you know, but you know, just because one scientist, you know, there's been many scientists and, and stuff all throughout the centuries. It's been a lot of these people. Man, that's another thing right there. Shortages, man. Jesus. They're everywhere. Shortages of food. Goods. You know, consumer goods and stuff. Shortages everywhere. You know, I saw someone saying... Early, I think it was Betty Daly that said it, um, that she had went to like six stores looking for children's medication and couldn't find none nowhere. You know, and if you think about that, you know, that's a, that's a, a lot of medication comes from China and India, you know, um, but a lot of it comes from China. You know, I don't, I don't like having, a. a China being in control of everything, you know, it's, we have been so sold out, man, and it, and it, and it really gets me that, that some of these leftist people say they want a democracy, we all know it's a fucking constitutional republic, <laughs> but they all say they want this democracy, got to protect our democracy meanwhile selling out everything to everybody else if you want to protect your democracy constitutional republic it would seem the smart money is on yourself is on your own is it the smart money is on your own people you know because when you rely on another country to give you all of your stuff. Nah, man. That ain't the way it works, man. You can't, I mean, you know, I, I mean, it's just simple, basic thought process, man. You know, you rely on a country to give all your medication. To get you all your medication. Alright, now think about that. When you, when you do that, and then let's say that they have a pandemic in their country and you go, eh, we're going to put a bunch of restrictions on any of your people traveling here. And then you piss them off. All they got to do is go, oh, yeah, that's what you're going to do. Well, let me show you what I'm going to do. You need medication? You need medication for your sick grandma, your your old folks that need their medication. You need medication for your children. You need medication for yourself. Yeah, no, that's not happening. Man, this stuff is just, dude, all, I mean, man, I've got, you know, like I said, I, I, don't, I don't mind to, to think outside the box to, to have these little uh, conspiracy theories um, as they're called and you know 
any of the shit that I think about may never come true. And I and I understand that. And I'm cool with that. And and really, some of the shit that I think, I hope like hell don't come true. But I would like for people to understand that, man, you know, this this whole thing with China, man, and, and, and lifting, you know, their zero COVID restrictions and and um, getting upset because people are wanting to either ban or put big restrictions on people traveling from China. <laughs> and there's something wrong with that, man. Especially when you see some of the news things that, that, that you see. If you dig around, because you ain't going to see the shit on mainstream media. Box News ain't going to show it to you. CNN, all these places, they're not going to show it to you. You've got to dig around to some independent media sources in order to find this kind of stuff. Man, and you know, um, some people could even go in and go, oh, that whole big video that they were doing, it was a stage set. Well, maybe it is. And to be honest with you, and the, the way that all that shit is going... Right now, with with uh, what I'm seeing from over there in China, should I hope it is just a movie set? I hope it is all a big fucking lie, you know. Um, geez, man, because I, I mean, man, people are dying, bro. You know, people are sick, people are dying, man. And I, you know, and I, I called that shit a while back, and I'm not saying I'm the only one that called it, because other people did too. So, so I'm not trying to like take full credit for it or nothing, but. You know, people, um, I, you know, I said, I, I guarantee you, we'll get through Christmas and all that and, and through the new year. And uh, give me a minute here. Sorry about that. Hell, I had to stop at a couple of different stores just to find what I need. Um, well, it's been the worst, but, uh, where was I at, man? What was I talking about? Can y'all remind me in chat here? Anyway, <laughs> you know all this stuff coming from China, man. You know I've got a, I've got some conspiracy theories that I that I kind of I like to just kind of think on sometimes, kind of play around with in my mind there, and the old crazy brain of backwoods, you know. That's what we need to start calling it for 2023. When when people act crazy and stupid, we'll call it uh, backwoods brain. <laughs> man, you got the backwoods brain, man. What's wrong with you? You know, the conspiracy theories, though, man, it's, um, you know, I just have some of them I want to share with y'all, man. It, it, so, it basically, it breaks down to a couple of different things. Number one, I really believe there that just kind of the way I see things, the way things are lining up, I believe that the, I believe that the, um, North Korea, you know, is doing that shit over there with South Korea. You got China wanting Taiwan. And then you got, you know, obviously the Russia-Ukraine deal. And, a lot, you know, a, a lot of people, you know, we, we talk about a lot of this stuff. And you see a lot of news reports and stuff. But the one thing that not a lot of people bring up that that really needs to be brought to attention that people need to think about is Iran. See, Iran is is supplying Russia with drones. Iran is getting nu nuclear capabilities. And a lot of people are going to say, oh, backwoods, hell, Iran's a small country. We'd wipe them off the planet. But we might. But Japan was a pretty large dominant force at one time. And it only took two nuclear bombs. Atom bombs. It only took two of them to bring them to their knees. And a lot of people say, oh man, USA's too powerful. We can't be attacked. We can't be this. We can't be that. 
I call bullshit. I call bullshit. And if you if you put here's where the conspiracy theory stuff comes in. If you put if you put it to the fact that you know China and this COVID thing, this you know this zero COVID policy, and 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 you put you put um. The thought of them trying to send people everywhere, you know, and having restrictions, you know, Biden administration's doing restrictions on on uh, uh, the the Chinese, you know, traveling about, and, you know, coming to America, but yet we're allowing people to come through our southern border at such a great number that I mean it's record breaking, and I mean. Is it already happening, or at what point does at what point does um one of my neighbors there? At what point does China look over and go, hey, you know what? We can uh we can just send our sick people through the southern border. Now we got sick people coming through the southern border, and who's to say it ain't already happening? Because we do have a lot of stuff going on in this country. And I really do believe that a lot of the stuff going on in this country is due to the previous lockdowns. That's that's my personal opinion. Damn, it's cold. Um, that is my personal opinion. I believe that, you know, I believe that herd immunity is always best. But then when you start talking about, you know, all these doctors that were going, oh, no, man, no herd immunity, you know, no, that's not good. Maybe there's more to, maybe there's more to this virus than what we really originally thought. And I know a lot of you go backwards. That's, that's, that's what we've been talking about. I, I, I'm with you. Okay, cool. Good. But, you know, when, when we start to really break that down and... We think about it, you know, man, there are a lot of things that they could be doing right now to, to, you know, affect everybody. And maybe they want to get everybody infected. And, you know, it would be a such a great opportunity. Oh, I disappeared from the camera, didn't I? I got to grab my little camera stand here. I got one I have a bunch of things. And so, you know, so basically, um, there, there's probably a lot of this stuff, man, that they're, that, I mean, it, man, China wants world domination, they, but they, I mean, they're not, it's, this, this ain't a secret, this ain't a conspiracy theory, this part of it is not. They want world domination, they want to be, hang on, but hey, uh, I was sitting here, and, uh, Man, I just got something really, 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 really cool. I don't even know what it is, but I know who it's from. And it's from my good brother, Prepper Tribe. And let me tell you something. I can guarantee you if it comes from Prepper Tribe, it's going to be good. So let's just open it up and see. Obviously, I can't show y'all the packaging because it has important information on it that we don't want to share with y'all. Because we, because, well, never mind. I won't say that out loud. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, boy. Looky here. Looky here. Got one of them awesome, oops. So it don't open up. Got one of these awesome, cool. Oh, oh, oh man, you know he showed he gave away a lot of these, and uh, I didn't win one. I still think the game was rigged. Rigged, tribe. I was supposed to win every gift that night. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Hey, y'all. I, I, man, I'm. I, I'm gonna tell you, man. Uh, you know, like Carbon Q and Miss Erica and them, and and. 
and um, RGG or not? Yeah, RGG did um, bad guy with guns. Uh, so um, tribe. Man, there was a bunch of people that that gave away a lot of awesome freaking gifts to everybody during the Christmas holidays, man. And I'm gonna tell you something, man. What what great people, man. Like seriously, to give back to the community the way that they did, man. But I, I just wanted to give a special shout out though to all them people I just mentioned, you know, and just say, you know, that that um, what awesome people. But man, look at this. Isn't this freaking? Let me figure it out. I, I've only been doing this for like one time, you know, on the YouTube and, and video and stuff. So, but no, look at this, man. Ain't this beautiful, man? That is so nice, tribe. Thank, Nisi, man. Oh my gosh, dude, that's heavy too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's yeah, quality, man. Quality. Here, I'm, I'm sitting here holding it down where y'all can't see it and stuff. I'm looking at, man. Very nice quality. Very nice, man. Comes with its own. Got the striker with it. I can show it the right way here. Matching set. Man, you know what, Try, Nisi, thank y'all so much. Uh, Merry Christmas to y'all. And I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build a. Uh, I'm gonna build a sheath for this. Sure am. I'm gonna build a really nice sheath for this, and uh, make it where I can keep it all compact together. And uh, that video will come too. Um, so today, uh, like I said, I'm gonna be working on this stuff that I got, man. Um, guys and gals, I, I'm just telling you, man. Just damn, thank y'all, man. This is nice, dude. Like this is really nice, dude. Like straight up, this is freaking sweet. Thank y'all. Um. Man, you know, so back to it, you know, because y'all know me, man. I, I ramble and my mind goes a thousand miles an hour in all different directions a lot of times. Um, man, pay attention to what's going on, guys, man. I, You know, I, I, I can't know exactly what's going to happen. Um, oh, yeah, and don't ever throw these away, man. These are these are good, man. You can stick them in your... And your bug out bags, you can stick them, man, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Keep the moisture down. Great, great stuff to have. Silica packs. Um. Anyway, so you know, I can't know what's going on, man. I can't, I can't sit here and tell y'all, you know, this is exactly what's going to happen. Cause hell, I don't know. I, I, you know, I ain't nobody special. I know that, but. You know when 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 we see these people on these on these come into our chats and stuff and they they're like oh conspiracy theory oh well it's just flu season you fucking idiots well man fuck you you know what because I understand it's flu season I understand that 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 we get flu every year but I'm telling you there is more nefarious things going on. And it's really, really disheartening to to think about all the stuff that they are really are doing to us. You know, we know, for instance, that normal technology that we get our hands on a lot of times is up to 20 years behind of what they really have. <laughs> what makes you think that 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 these viruses and these and these um, these these uh cures and these vaccines and all that what what makes you think that they ain't already got this shit figured out too and and they're only giving you what 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 they want you know because they they want one world domination china russia all of them do man they, they all these global leaders man you know the united states look at look at look at all the shit that the united states has done in the past you know, Saddam Hussein back in the day, you know, if you really think about it, wanted to get off the petrodollar. Started creating his own currency. And look what happened to him. He's got weapons of mass destruction. We fought 20 plus years over there for what? For what? What did it accomplish? Because nothing, and, and in fact, if you really want to break it down, it's, it's probably worse over there now than, than what it was. 
man, I'm telling you, you know, there's there's a bigger agenda. And, and for all you naysayers out there and all you people that think it's a conspiracy theory, um, keep putting your head in the sand. For all of you out there that want to say, well, it, it don't really affect me right now. Well, that's not affecting me. Well, that over there is not affecting me, so I really got nothing to say about it. Well, just think about it like this. You know, there there is such a thing that that when they start taking away stuff and they start doing things to people, and you get a group of people that go, well, that don't really affect me, so I'm not going to be involved. I, I don't want to be involved in that. And then you got this group of people over here that it does affect, and then it, it, it tears them down. And then you got another group over there that they start doing stuff to, you know, the, the government and so forth, start doing stuff to this group, to this certain demographics of people, whatever you want to call it. You know, you get, then all of a sudden you get them them people saying, hey man, look what's going on, look what's going on. And you got another group over here that's going, oh man, that don't affect me. You know, and when this continues on for a while, one day it comes around to your group or your demographics or, or whatever it may be. And you're going, hey, hey, whoa, hey, this is, look what's happening to me. And all the other groups have done been affected and done been took down and they're all like can't help you man can't help you i we i wish you would have been there when when it was affecting me and affecting them and affecting them you know think about this stuff for real man um man the conspiracy theories they are what they are you know my thought process i really believe that that china is trying to infect people man um well i say i really believe I, i'm just saying this is a thought of mine you know, that, that they could be trying to infect the world again with, with another new strain. Um, they probably, you know, they might, they might could have the, the cure already. And so what they do, see, is they go and say, you know, all these people get infected all over the world because China's not been, not been uh, quiet um, or reserved about saying they want world domination. They want, they want to control the world. They want to be on top. You know, so they, they infect everybody and they actually have the cure, the real cure. And they can step in and be like, hey, we've got the cure. Look, look, this is curing everybody, man. This is, this is, you know, we, we own this. Hey, if you want this, um, you got to pay because we know their economy ain't shit. And we know their, everybody's economy ain't shit. But what, what, what better way to bolster your economy? And if you don't believe that could, it, that that could be a thought process, well, let's just take a look at Nancy Pelosi, for instance. Nancy Pelosi was around a hundred trillion. Her and her husband were around a hundred trillion dollars um, at the start of uh, the first pandemic, the C nineteen. Since then, they have gained seventy one trillion dollars. So now they're worth 171 trillion. They almost doubled, almost doubled their financial growth. And look at all the other people. I guarantee you, if you start looking around and start digging, if you can find the information, you'll find that there's a lot of other rich and powerful people that got highly, highly rich. Most profitable thing, most profitable people, like Pfizer, Moderna, these people. Um, profits through the roof and if you think about that on you know uh, from from china's point of view you know man they what a what a way to dominate the world what a way to sit there and go hey we could do this we could we could release it we could make everybody sick and then we got to cure And it could even be used to, to take control, you know, power, like, like real control over a, even countries, you know, these, these poorer countries, man, that have a lot of good resources, you know, because we already see China doing that in, in ways with minerals and, and, and all this stuff, these cobalt mines and so forth, you know, for these, for these electric car batteries, um, you know, a lot of this stuff, man, is uh, 
it's it you know conspiracy theory or is it really that far off to think that you know i mean does it could you think that that china over there would you think that they would really do something like that i don't know i don't know maybe i'm wrong maybe i don't know what i'm talking about maybe i'm just crazy maybe i sit in this damn shop too much by myself man i don't know Y'all tell me y'all's thoughts, man. Um, well, I, I, I'm sitting here thinking about it. I'm doing a premiere on this, so, you know, I can I can see what y'all's thoughts are here in the comments, you know. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me tell me your thoughts. To, you know, maybe you've got, maybe you kind of think the same way I do and think, you know, of something else that I ain't thought of. I mean, I, like I said, I, I don't know everything, man. I, I'm not even saying anything. I'm not even saying that everything... That I've said today is true. I, hell, I don't know, man. I really don't. Who knows? <laughs> hey, just, um, you know, just don't take nothing off the table. Don't, don't dismiss things so quickly. You know, research into things for yourself. Man, there's so much stuff going on. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna drop a link down below for those y'all that want to listen. Y'all can. If you don't, you don't have to. Obviously, um, <laughs> it's a a video. It's called uh, "Yeah, Behold a Pale Horse" by William Cooper, and it's it's almost three hours long. This guy is like a, a former United States Naval Intelligence briefing team member um man he's uh he's he's told it all man this this thing was done in like man i think it was 1989 or something but man it just talks about a lot of this stuff that that we think a lot of this stuff and it and it shows i'm talking like bills that have been passed and you know, stuff that's been done in the middle of the night, and I'm talking about all the way back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, man. He talks about a lot of this stuff, and, you know, he gives the numbers to the bill and everything. Like I say, it's like three hours long, man, but, dude, I don't know, man. It's, uh, God, dog, man. You know, it's, it's pretty crazy. Look, I didn't want this to be a doom and gloom deal. That's why I put some little stuff in there throughout the video. And uh, it's not about doom and gloom. It's just about being prepared, you know. Um, we buy, we you know, we buy extra food and extra water. And we, we get all these things for, for preparedness. And one of the most important things is preparing your mind and just looking at everything and understanding, you know, that... There is a lot, lot deeper stuff going on right now than what, than what, um, you know, even some of us may believe, man. Because I know we got some people out there that kind of got that conspiracy thing going on, man. There's, might be a little conspiracy theorist going on around here. Shit. What the hell's wrong with y'all, man? God dang I'm dang old tell you what, man. I'm dang old go over there, man, and talk about it. Dang old AI, man. And just point and click, 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 man. And it fucking thing comes up, man. I don't know what the hell, man. Somebody tells me all kinds of crazy stuff, man. Anyway. <laughs> Guys. Gals. <laughs> man, just uh, be prepared. You know, prepare your mind. When you prepare your mind, things start to fall into place. When you, when you own the day and you don't let it on you, you know, you have to be prepared for the day to be able to own it. That's all I got. Backwoods out.